How's it going guys and welcome back to Jolly Lads Gaming with me and myself and I. No Aaron today I'm afraid. But where we left off was maggots fielding cuts and I'm worried that we may have missed some of it. Two White Hill we'll soldiers to do it again. and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You uh, have my condolences. Starks. Thank you, mister. Did it? I can't tell whether it's actually gone back mm, or not. The blade cut deep, but I should be able to oh, save Oh, okay, leg. I think it has gone back. Your justice was swift. Some will I call it tell. vengeance. I'm sure you'll no all know if you watch it will claim together. It was, mud. <laughs> it was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than ah, you. Okay, I has gone back. It's justice. They got what they deserved. I apologise for that. Indeed. I may have cut off a bit you early can't last the time. Just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent it. Yep, we've gone back to the maggots. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh, well, don't make me do this again. Oh, you filthy uh. bastard. Ooh. Lovely. These oh, are so wrong. Fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. You tell him. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late but Lord Forrester was a good fuck man. People are. And poor Roderick. Our a house will never fall. Man, but he would have made a good Go lord. Our house will never fall. Ah, close enough. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house let's is in Lord right, Ethan's hands God. now. Yes, Though he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Why uh, is he just poking my cup with a knife? It. He's not even doing anything. Hold this for me, will you? No, I won't. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Yeah, Roderick. yeah, all right. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with the sword Let's as anyone Let's go with what seen. we chose last time. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Yeah, right. Lady Forrester will be he saved here any me because I'm the main character. I'd like you, to walk for me first. you can't let See the main you can character put any die. On leg. <sighs> yeah, of course. Yeah, you can just walk fine. Don't worry about. Go on. Don't stop now. Go on, man. Let the blood circulate. Oh, we're actually walking about now. Let's have a look at the tapestry, shall we? Can I kill that guy? I've got a sword. Just for the sake of it. Look at Mira. Talia and Ethan. Do I even know any of these characters? R.O.P. in peace. Lord Forrester. Yep. It was an honour to squire for him. Was it? Gregor the Good. Nah, I won't bother with that. Won't bore you with all the nonsense. Hmm. You seem to be favouring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm I haven't lost it yet. Look. What a fine chair. <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you serious? I actually, I genuinely just looked at the chair. That was it. Why? Why would I want to look at a window or a shield? Like, yeah, it's cool on that, but not really gonna bother with that. Let's look at medical supplies. I'm gonna touch the bucket. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Why? This is just getting weird now, isn't it? Just steal his bandages, don't worry about. I may as well steal these as well, yeah? Yeah, don't ask him. No, no, it's fine. Don't ask him. We'll just take it. Yeah, this we'll take help. it. Yeah, it might help, don't worry. Yeah, that shield might help as well. Might as well take that. Does it work? Excuse me? 
Does it work with this as well, then? Mm -hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. An ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. Is it really? Oh, the God, forests owe take... their lives to this wood <laughs> and the, the weapons that come from it. Just popped up out of nowhere. No, if I can take the rest, let me take the shield. Uh, no, you see there? The I'm iron not limping. Grove. What a wonderful scene of him looking out the window. Talk to the maester when you're finished exploring. Um, I think we're done. Let's have a quick little shuffle over here. I think we're good. Oh, can I have that? That looks cool. Nice little hatchet. Show sword. Yeah, why not? It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. Now I'm going to keep By it. By right, Thanks. that belongs to Lord Ethan now. Even nope. a sword as strong as this would barely make a dent in a shield like that. Now nah, I think I'll keep it. Yeah, I think I'll keep Did it. Does your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think White it's Hills. Safe to say the feeling is <laughs> There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I, I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, so we are. killed someone's, and someone killed that someone's, and who, who is, is the, the new, new lord? lord of House Forester? Why, Ethan, of course. Ethan. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Uh, yeah, we'll now. leave now. I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you. Oh, you yeah, though. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. NATO. Me free. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Off to bed now to go to sleep. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Uh, he was a hero. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. Oh, you cold You were with bitch. Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion but if you can remember anything uh, i'm sure lady forrester would like to know yeah he, he fought valiantly my lady of course he did he was house forrester's best this has been so incredibly difficult for us especially the children but i was told i was told you were the last to see my husband alive yes my lady I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Um, Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. Oh shit! It means so uh, much to the family. He mentioned something about the North Grove. The North Grove. What oh, of it? Fuck. He said, "The North Grove oh, must never him. be lost." <gasps> the North Grove. Interesting. Oh my shit! I am. Oh no! Oh oh no! I didn't know it was a secret, I forgot. Uh, you have the Forester's sword. I should have shown him the sword. This belongs with Ethan now. He's the new lord of the house. Right, so this will be the end of the series. Thank you, <laughs> Garrett. Of course, Fuck. my lady. They demand a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Can I just, like, uninstall now? I already fucked thing. everything up. I'll be about. sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. 
They were oh, our people. Mighty normal. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. No. Oh. No, Garrett, bastard. you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. Oh, we can try. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. Yeah, they, they killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. Come and at what me, would bro. you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves uh, to be all right. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. All right. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately... It will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. Yeah, fuck, fuck the Boltons. Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye, you'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Fuck the ball why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan? But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. Oh, I'm afraid it's the shit. only solution. Yeah, we'll go to the wall. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it then. The wall! You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But I we have a fucking hope so. The White Hills will come looking you for you. You cheeky little bastard. Yeah, you walk away. Go on. Don't even... Don't look back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he just popped away. Word up to me. <laughs> I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. He sounds Irish. And God's willing, someday I will. That was but terrible. now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Nah, he really doesn't. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. Uh, His own great uncle was a ranger yeah. with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said... The North Grove can never be lost. I'm sorry. I fucked it up. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Uh. This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. I'm not lying. I told Lady Forrester that Maester Ortengrin overheard. I appreciate your honesty. But Lord Forrester's message was not meant for that. I ears. know, I forgot. I'm I'll sorry, speak man. With Lady Forrester, and I'll deal with the Maester. He's the last person I would trust with this information. Which is why, from this day forward, this must be our secret. Right, okay, I won't Soon, fuck up again. I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. Why is that horse vibrating? But don't breathe a word of anyone it to anyone at the wall. 
Become a ranger if you can. It will help. A ranger? Damn, right, I'll be a good one. Be a power ranger. Do, 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 do. Do, Iron do, from do, ice. Do. No. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the war will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll, I'll serve, serve with, with honor. I know you will. Even though I fucked up already. We'll just ignore that that ever happened. I'm sure it won't come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> Garrett, wait! It's a necklace. Be safe. <laughs> I bet that's all she says. <laughs> you arsehole. You arsehole. <laughs> he was oh, that's so savage. He could have been like, yeah, thanks, you know. Just fucking looks at her and rides on his horse. A long road ahead. Ethan? Ethan! I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win. Congratulations, oh, your God, he lordship. sounds like such a muppet. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here, and Asha, and, and Roderick. I do too, but Mira's in King's Landing and- Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to he die either. He sounds like a dick. Mr. Ortengren said he got sent to the wall. Yeah, cause all... I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. Yeah, Garrett is, Garrett strong. is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who Him. said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Royland forgets himself. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. Yeah, I don't want to be a dick what does king. What does Milksop mean? Like I don't bloody know. Joffrey. But I know if it's you've not watched good. it. Ethan, you should muppet. let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. It's so much fun. <laughs> Savage. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry It's because they're all grumpy everything. and boring and... Promise me you won't be like that. War Please, crazy. Just be you. I like you the way you are. Cause you're I know a lord has many responsibilities. I promise are. I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. We'll have to have yeah, both, boy. I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord... Right, I'm getting a feeling something bad's about to happen. Want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So... I could have all the sweets I want. 
Anyone else getting that vibe? It be that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as, as you'd many like. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? Uh oh. Oh, science gonna happen. You're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Or not. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Uh oh. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. Yeah, I'm not going to be a dick. There's no point. Don't want to piss anyone off that I have to stick around because that's going to make things awkward, isn't it? Do, 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 do. What's going to happen next? I don't know how long this episode is going to be. I'm just going to kind of play until I... I don't know, until I decide to stop, I suppose. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All the more Ooh. reason to stand up for ourselves. This. Only cowards and dead my men. Cats for it. That should be my catchphrase. We've got this. I say it in like every video. I swear to God. Oh, look at you. Think you're all high and mighty. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. All right. I've been waiting for this day all my life. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house? Oh, he's such a dick. No Just kill him. Bread and salt. You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You <laughs> foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roos Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. <laughs> lord Ethan. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished! Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Oh, here he is. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, yeah, when your bullshit. man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. That's not how it happened. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the Lord yeah. of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? 
I know he's here. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. Oh, he's such a dick. Someone's just What kind of fucking through. house is this? A house of honourable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady. Considering your losses and oh, all. Well, he's sharp now, isn't he? This, this is not over. Oh, shut it's up. It's over when my son says it is. I've heard enough, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. Good. Um, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Just got a random friend request. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. Yeah. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. What a bunch of arseholes. Right, and that will be the end of the episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave some feedback in the comment section below. And I will see you in part three. Goodbye.